everybody was good. It's Jax. I'm back and welcome to another episode of All Jack Stuff. Just take a look below, handle your business, and let's get started with this show because I am on another level today, okay? Let's do it. All right, everybody, let's get it started with my favorite segment. What did you say? Rob Gronkowski, the frat boy of the sports world. He has a new business now featuring CBD products. Here he is on Fox and Friends doing a little promoting. Is it for muscles? Is it for joints? Muscles, joints, arthritis, um, you know, muscle pain, muscle bruises. It's working for you? Yes, it's working great. Are you sure it's working for you, Rob? Um, you know, uh, it's not gonna, you know, heal something like a major, yeah, like uh, absolutely de devastating injury. Like a brain injury? <laughs> Look, I think you better stick with the CBD and cut out all the THC because it is causing some devastating issues with your speech. When Josh left the room, Wes started to talk about how everyone in this house is dispendable to him. <laughs> Yeah, your use of grammar is dispendable. And other headlines, a school bus mistake infuriates a, a father. Yeah, and I am infuriated at the mangulation of that word. Yeah, that's right. I said mangulation. Look, if y'all can make up words, I can too. Remember when I was telling you I was going to buy one of these cats? I, I ended up going to foster care and adopting uh, Midway and Chit Chat. Wait a minute, this makes me feel some kind of way. The fact that I know the name of her cats better than Wendy knows the name of her cats. Your cat's name is My Way, not Midway. And look, if you forget in the future, holla at your chick, okay? I'll let you know how you do it. And finally, do you guys remember Jax telling you about sexual in the windows? I'm trying to figure out what is coming in her windows. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, he, um, he, lately, he's been making kind of sexual in the windows. Oh, okay. Sexual in the windows, right? Sexual is coming in the windows. In you windows. In you windows. In, in you windows, not my window. And then all of a sudden, he switched to sexual in the windows. See, I told y'all last time, lock your windows and your doors because sexual is on the loose and he's still coming in the windows. Well, I learned today that sexual may very well be a woman and she ain't playing when it comes to getting in the windows. Open it. I'm open it oh, she's bugging. Get off my house. Bay is a bug out. Climbing in somebody's window in New York City, you definitely asking for it. Can you just say that Bay escaped? Listen, she knocked on the window, opened it, the dude came to the window, like, get out of my house. She fought him, and well, she went into somebody's house. Please, I'm not saying. I just need to get through your door. Why are you? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Donna, I am serious as taxes. <laughs> Speaking of sexual in the windows. And I know Shay Mack have been approached with deal doors just for going over someone's house. But well, maybe if you go to someone's house and they pull out deal doors and they may rub on you or touch you, Carly Hell says she touch your feelings. Skrr! Wait, back up. Now you're telling me that dildos come in through the dill doors? Okay, let me correct my previous warning then. Don't let sexual in the windows and lock up your dill doors unless you're this woman. I still enjoy, I, I love like dildos. Dildos through the dildors, through the dildors. Another show that I like to watch is Catfish. And I never thought I would say this, but Max, I miss you. I like the other co-host, but Max, come on back, okay? I miss you. In the real world of fishing, there's a method of catching catfish known as noodling. Now, it got this name because catfish are supposed to be as slippery as a wet noodle. Noodling is actually getting into the water and putting your hands down in the mud holes that catfish create and grabbing them with your bare hands and saying, I got a catfish. Now, in this next clip, we are going to see the, uh, I got to get this straight. We have a catfisher 
noodling a catfish she because the catfish sure thinks that the catfish she is a catfish sure as well. Okay, you got that? J just watch the damn clip. So he's a crush on you. He's a catfish himself. You are. And how am I a catfish? You know how you're a catfish. How? I mean, you're not a catfish at all. No. So what is this? What is it? Oh, oh my god. Oh wow. Wow. Like what that is. I never told you I did it, man. That's no way's business. Clutch the pearls with a sneaky thing to do. Look, if it's good enough for a woman, then who the hell are we to tell a man that he can't get a little lace front action too? Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if y'all have noticed a theme this week. <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about hair and uh we have a special guest here for a quick interview welcome miss bb from bb's beauty school hi miss bb how are you today oh jackie thank you so much for having me here it's just such a pleasure to be here so now miss bb it seems like you are becoming quite the little star around town and word is really getting around about your school Yes, I am the town-renowned BB of BB Boo School, honey. That's right. I understand you have a special event coming up this weekend? Today, I'm here to talk about the town-renowned BB Boo School Booty Hair Show, honey. That's right. I'm running a commercial right now. You said you were going to play that during your show for me. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, of course, Miss BB. We're going to play it right after this. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, what will be going on at the hair show. Ooh. If you come on down to the BB Booty School Booty Hair Show, I'm going to show you all kinds of new trends in hair and makeups, and you are just going to have a good time. And we have a special presentation on how to get that IG popping, honey. <laughs> you ain't got to twerk. All you got to do is work on your makeup. <laughs> are you getting any support from the town? Oh, yes, the mayor will be there. I mean, this is the town renowned first annual BB Booty School Booty Hair Show. Well, it sounds like it's going to be an exciting weekend. I'm so excited. Come on down to the BB Booty School Booty Hair Show this weekend. You are going to enjoy yourself. Well, Miss BB, I am so glad you dropped by today to tell us about the hair show. Well, I want to thank you, Jax, for having me here today, and uh, I hope I see you this Saturday, too. It was such a pleasure having you here today, Miss BB, and uh, I wish you the best with your event on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, everybody. As promised, it is time for a quick commercial break. Hey now, Ms. BB here from the town renowned BB Bridge School. We are holding our legendary first annual BB Bridge School Bridge Hair Show. Tickets are on sale for the low, low price of $400 each. Financing available. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-BB-BRUDY. That's 1-800-BB-BRUDY. And get your tickets today. Come on down and see me, Miss BB, from the BB Booty School at the BB Booty School Booty Hair Show. Join me in the booty business. I hope to see you there. It is not a well-kept secret that Jax loves Judge Judy. And uh, seriously, if entertainment had not been my gig, I probably would have gone to law school because I need to be on somebody's bench somewhere judging. <laughs> In this next clip, the defendant's case seems to be just a little bit hairy. Charlene Jenny says her cousin, Khadija Royal, owes for stolen clothes and a plane ticket. Oh, hey, girl, I see you. <laughs> now, if you're a Judge Judy fan, you know that that woman does not take a whole lot of talk back or a lot of crap. But for some reason, this defendant and her hair continue to stunt. This ticket is for you in your car. And we drive each other's car. No, I never drove your car. I don't know how to start your car. Use a pipe to start your car. You got to bang the engine to start it. I have a reliable car that I use a key and start. I don't know how to operate your vehicle. Never been in your vehicle. Judy, you see my car. It's a very reliable vehicle. Reliable. I don't know how to operate her vehicle. I've never. She left to use two hands to turn the wheel around the corner. You never drove your car before. We're done. Thank you very much. Now, if you think it ended with the bang of the gavel, ha, think again. No, you Judy, she was my identity. I actually took $2,000. Bye. <laughs>
Ain't that something, huh? Try to lie. You bought a 2002 car. You bought it wasn't 2000. It was 2001. Are you excuse? Using my name, gift. Look at her poor son. He doesn't even want to show his face. Mama embarrassed him so. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Took a long time for it to grow on me, but Judge Judy's new low pony must have been too tight that day, cause girl, she let that defendant get away with sheer murder. <laughs> Ooh, hairy scary. She's a bum, Chris, a bum, a worthless bum. She uses my name, get pulled over in my car. The light. She's just a bum. She's a thief. If you want to be her, she steals. She's a thief. She steals your identity. She steals your purse. She steals your car. She's a thief. I would never drive her car. I don't know why I would be affiliated with her car. She uses a pipe. And she pops the hood and she whacks it with two pipes. And she goes, did it start yet? Did it kick yet? I own a reliable car. I would never drive her vehicle. She never helped me out a day in her life. I helped her out because she stole my Louis Vuitton bag. Does she look like she owned a Louis Vuitton purse? And I hope she updates her car too. She doesn't upset me. She doesn't upset me at all. Case dismissed. Now, there's nothing wrong with letting your hairstylist or your makeup artist know what you like and what you desire. But you know what? Slow your roll. You better be careful when you're talking to somebody who's messing all up in your stuff. <laughs> Take a look at what I mean. <laughs> Okay, wait, cut, cut, cut. Now, it looks to me like he's doing exactly what she's asking him to do. And I guess, you know, if you don't have a little bit of nail on your fingernails, you're not going to get that kind of scratching sensation. So let's see what happens next. <laughs> Well, y'all, that's it. That's all I wrote. You are all jacked up. And guess what? I think I am too. In other words, I'm going to be taking a week off, okay? You might see another video pop up during that off week. But join me back here in two weeks for another episode of All Jacked Up. Please don't forget to like, comment, notify, and subscribe. It'll really help your chick out. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. I shall see you next time. But until then, y'all be good to yourselves and to each other, okay? Okay.